Hello, hello. And welcome everyone to the Distance Workshop Weekly. And here we are officially and fully into the AC season. Which means we have a four weeks worth, or seven, seven weeks worth of, yeah, you know, new stuff that should in theory be a uh, decent quality. We're, we're gonna find out. Looked like there was a decent amount of other stuff, so. Who knows what surprises we'll find this time. <laughs> Alrighty. Nope. Oh, you know what? Um, yeah, we are. I am gonna. Just hold on one second. Okay, now I can see chat. Okay. And what was I saying? Right. I do want to start with the actual DAC levels. As you know, that's the shiny new thing, so. I believe we're on number five? Let me, let me, hold on. Most recent. What one? Last DLC dot EAC, do I actually recognize? No, we only, yeah, we only did three before. Okay, okay, okay. Right, yeah, because we were just... Yes, three is cookie, so yes. So we are on a DAC 4, which there are two entries, both by Rhombus. I'm assuming one, oh wait, scrap sprint maps and hopes of making my first stunt tag. Okay, so maybe one is like a stunt map and the other is an actual map. I guess we're going to find out. I mean, if it's not in sprint, I don't know if I'm actually, you know what, no, I should actually look at it at least. Um, how do I, uh, what's it called, prime? Oh. Okay, because I'm in, already in sprint. Okay, hold on. Um, stunt workshop. They're both stunt maps. Okay. Sock. <laughs> God damn it, pineapple. All right. This was the first one listed in the workshop, so let's take a look at Prime. And I'm not that big on the stunt mode, so. Oh, jeez. Like, I kind of get the primary shapes and colors theme, but. Some of those flying by are really, like, honestly, kind of disoriented. Especially the close ones. The ones that show up close up. Dreamheads. Uh -oh. What is happening? Oh my god, there is stuff below me. Jesus Christ, this map is disorienting. What is... What is life? I... I don't know what's happening. I barely know what's happening. What is, like... Is this? Level is interest. Oh, I can't even get to the bottom of that box. Okay, I, I kind of assumed that the death zone would be below that. You know what? Maybe that's my own fault for assuming such things. Oh, this is bad. Oh, what? First time maneuvering, I lost my thing. Not that I'm back. Right. Yeah, the visuals on this map are just like way due to the OGs. Yeah. I like stuff like that. Like, I think this map had cool ideas. I think if the background would be toned down, I would actually be able to, you know, kind of appreciate what's here. It's kind of simple, but like, it doesn't have to. So, now I have to see... Yeah, okay. I kind of thought that was either going to teleport me back to the top or send me back up. Since this map has a lot of focus on... Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah. It seems to have a lot of focus on uh, vertical movement. Oh, nope. I started. it. Yeah. Do I even 
didn't have a time limit on. I don't even know. I'm not. But yeah, there, it'd be on my car. Round down. Oh right, fire. I'm like, I don't remember anything about how freaking stun mode works. <laughs> Other than you do tricks and get points. These cubes are so freaking huge and untextured that it's like, it feels like you're right next to them even when you're <laughs> Though, I think that's just some of the perspective of the game in general. I might as well just get a score on this level, so I, you know, I'm playing it. Have something, even if I'm sure it'll be terrible. <laughs> Give people a chance to see this thing. <laughs> yeah, I think I will maintain this level is not bad. It's a fun idea. The background is just too much. Way too much of those part of the backgrounds going on. like looking at that it's like what oh, timed out Ew. I mean, I don't know how this stacks up against other stunt levels, really. I I like the ideas, but it's hard to play for me. At least. <laughs> like, ooh, I could not play that level more than once in a row. I'm sorry. <laughs> that background is just ooh, that's getting to me. <laughs> All right, um. And what is the description of Coliseum? Actually, what modes does it have? Does it even say? Reverse tag and stun. Oh, right. So these levels. Oh, how would primary? I think primary is way too much open states for a reverse tag. If it actually is available for that mode. Yeah, I was like, you could just really run away forever, basically. Pretty easily. These visuals are much more intriguing and less painful than the previous one. So. Okay, and that's kind of actually a neat aspect to this, is the fact that you do have solid surfaces you can land on around the outside, but they're... Recall. I'm in danger, aren't I? But it's like... Jeez. Oh, How high can I go here? Right, what I was going to say is there's kill grids between those, so you actually have to be careful where you're laying. I kind of like that. It might also get frustrating, but if you were to seriously... Oh, I can't go outside. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, I like this. I think this is cool. I don't know if it's actually good as a stunt or reverse tag map, but... It's cool. <laughs> I said, I don't really know how to read something. Yeah. Oh, the background also might be a little crazy for how, like, minimalistic the rest of the level is. I don't know. Like, 
I don't really feel like it's taking away. It's just like... Not sure, but I like it. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna, like, I don't know what I'm doing. You don't need to watch me fumble around this map for five minutes. I think we've, I think we've seen it, so. <laughs> Can I rate this level without having completed a thing on it? <laughs> Excuse me. Ugh. Ooh, um. And I don't know how. It's on the menu where you can do that. No. I would rate that one up, but I don't know how to do that easily without playing through the whole thing, which I don't really want to do right now. And this is technically not a DAC, but you know, pineapple advent calendar. Let's, uh, we're already here. Let's dive full into the mat, on into the madness. The sock. Oh God. This is already far more elaborate than I expected. Are we on a washing machine? Oh my God. <laughs> in space. We're in the cosmic washing machine of doom. God. This is actually kind of great. For as, as dumb of, and ridiculous as a theme as it is. This is actually kind of amazing. Oh, right. I can rate it on the workshop page. Yeah. I could have sworn there's a way to change a rating in the actual distance game without, you know, having to finish the level, but maybe not. I, it kind of makes sense that you don't, because you don't want people just being like, oh, this thumbnail looks dumb. Bad level. Even if you can do that from the workshop, at least you have to put in a little extra effort. Oh, what? Well, where did I spawn? What? Huh? What? I'm confused. But this level is amazing, actually. This is probably my favorite random ass nonsense thing I've come across in a while. Okay, yeah, there is one. It's just the safe spawn point. With the freaking socks. Can I crash into the socks? No, the water. It's actually dangerous. Oh, there are multiplier bubbles in this level? I didn't even, like, pay attention. I've been too distracted by just how ridiculous this level is. I will chase the sock. No. Yes. Or... Oh, neat. There's one. I am enjoying this level far more than I ever would have guessed at. There's the... I'm like, is there anything hidden out here? I must know the secrets of the sock. Uh, no, I don't think there's anything on the outside of the washing machine. I am sad. It's okay, because the inside of the washing machine is where the party's at anyways. No! The, the force. Too much! Car cannot beat washing machine. No. Uh, I'm seriously curious. Ooh. Okay, did the- wait. I don't remember seeing a multiplier in here before. Do they move when you pick one up? I don't know how to tell because I'm probably going to just repeatedly fail to get this one. It's actually not easy. Okay, socks are solid. One of the great mysteries of this level has actually been answered. 
<laughs> this is a surprisingly fun level. Like, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty sure this... I mean, it pro I was going to say, I'm pretty sure this level started as a total meme. And I think it technically might be, but it's genuinely great, even considering for that. Uh, I want to get on the bottom. I don't know why, but I do. Oh, I can't, like, uh, ooh, wow. Yeah, the way the water spins you around, it's hard to actually drive down here. <laughs> I kind of don't like that the music, we get the muted music in the water, because that's kind of, like, the coolest place to be, and then you don't get fun music. That would be my only complaint about this level. Okay, so the the power up bubble, or the, the multiplier bubbles actually move when you collect them. That's that's really cool. I don't know if that's a normal. I kind of assume that might be like a normal uh, stunt mode feature. Oh yeah, easy. Thumbs up. But, like, I don't play enough, and I think some of the levels have multiples at a time, so I don't know, but... This, this is a good level, even though my score sucks, because I wasn't really trying for it. It probably won't, but... Yeah. I, this level makes me happy that it exists. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> hey, off to, a, off to a decent start. I mean, primary made my head hurt. Coliseum was neat, but not... That exciting. Head and sock was hilarious and incredible. <laughs> yeah. Okay, back to sprint, I hope. Because that was uh that was DIC4 and PAC4 as well. The pineapple advent calendar. Whoa, there are three DAC5. What wait, what? What is going on? Why do I see like five DAC5 entries? Oh, one is a PIC, but why are there four PIC fives? They're all by TNT. What? What is happening? Oh, gimmick challenge pack number one, increasing speed. Gimmick challenge pack number two, air control. Gimmick challenge pack three, disjoint. And gimmick challenge pack four, and okay, so they're part of a series. Okay, that makes more sense. They. When they're all just DAC5 different word, I'm like, what? The naming convention leaves uh, a, something to be desired, but I, I think I get the idea. What? Oh, they're not. Okay, so number one is accelerate. Wait. What? I, hold on. Oh, these are challenge maps, aren't they? That's why I'm not seeing them. Right. Ah, ha, ha. mystery solved. Yeah, so this is actually a series of maps. It's just the naming convention is confusing. All right, let's see what we're in for. Speed line effects. Uh -oh. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, right. Because, um. Wait. Oh. No, I didn't finish. Yeah, because as soon as you die, it's like, it's over. Actually, I just kind of thumbs that up without a reflex without really thinking about it. Um, I need to try and finish this. I shouldn't have created that. I don't know why I did. I'm like, I'm not that I'm thinking it's bad. I'm just not sure right now. But yeah, I, I, I get the ideas here as we're essentially doing the same thing. Just at increasingly high speeds, which gets really awkward because your control gets bad. Oh God, how did I not hit that one? Did I, uh? Become the speed victory. I was pretty sure I just clipped right through that last barrier, but 
I mean, I lived, I reached the end. So, I mean, can you prove anything really? Nobody can prove otherwise. Uh, I mean, for a challenge level, it's neat. It's not amazing, but I think it's a fun idea and it's short and sweet. So I don't think it outstays its welcome. So yeah, I, th I think that actually does deserve a thumbs up for me. And also I am yeah, gonna consider some of these as a series. Like how they work together with simple themes. So uh, Flight Paths is the next one. This is number two in the Seer Challenge series. The gimmick challenge pack. Snow. Oh. I get it. Light paths, I think. There was definitely a better way I could have done that. Oops. Nope. I fucked that up. I just want to restart. Yeah, so there it is. I don't want to do this. Uh oh. actually a necessary or a good idea. Why am I trying to barrel roll on a vertical section? I can just short hop and get all right in the Where am I? What's going on? I've, I've lost myself. <laughs> no. <laughs> I messed that up. So I think this one works decently well as a challenge level. It's a very simple, straightforward theme. I, it's pretty clear how the level works right off the bat. This is not exactly the sort of thing I'm all that good at myself, but... Uh, no. I think for like a flight slash air control map, it's fine. It's not like so crazy that I feel like I'm gonna end up at giving up on it, but it's also obviously not easy. It's not a free map. I mean, I'm sure people who are actually good at flight control are probably like, yo, this is like a free giveaway. And everyone else is like, no, please, I need completable maps. This one is the weirdest one. I, I don't know if this is something I'm doing. Like it, it feels like all the other roadways so far have been very easy to find and see my landing route. Okay, yeah, no, they're just getting a little more convoluted. But it's not too bad. It's only that one that's been weird. Huzzah. I don't think so far none of these are like amazing in my book, but they're solid. They're solid and good, which, you know, let's recommend. You want some short little challenges? These are, these are decent ones. And next up is Disjoint. Yeah, they are actually in order. Great. fancy. It's like, yo, I'm gonna barrel roll in the opposite direction that I really should. It's gonna be sweet. I see this is purely as the name. Oh, gosh, I'm gonna put it. 
I know that one was definitely my fault, but I'm like, what did I do wrong? I wasn't paying enough attention. Oh my god, how did I mess that up? <laughs> I think this is like a good training slash practice track, actually. This is actually really good for like basic transfer practicing, like just navigating disjointed tracks like this. Obviously, it's not easy because you're doing a whole bunch of them in, in a row, but they aren't like crazy hard. Okay, like some of these, like getting more to the inverts actually does get trickier, but. So, uh, oh, okay, yeah. And that's the final one. But it's, it's like only the last few are like very really tricky. So, again, I think this is actually makes a really nice, like, uh, practice or training map, actually. So, this is really nice as, like, a intro or intermediate level, like, to your challenge map. Oh, my God, what is that? <laughs> oh, no. Nope. I've ruined it. Everything's gone wrong. I'm like, yeah, this map, this is uh, it's, uh, hard. Watch me screw it up 20 times in a row. <laughs> because I can't drive while I'm talking. Oh, come on. How did I not get killed? You know what, I'll take it. We. <laughs> oh, I missed gold barely. It's, it's, tonight's not night for worrying about gold, so. But yeah, that, that's, that's a good, I think that's a good addition to anyone's like challenge lineup, unless they're like well beyond that and just trying to like master like really, really high level techniques. I think that's a good job. Angles. Should be the last one in the series, I believe. Interesting. Ah. Okay, I think I'm getting the idea. This is like angle jumps. Level's pretty clear about what's going on. Wow. I don't know why I'm trying to hang so close to the middle. I, I don't think I actually need to, but I feel like I do for some reason. Probably even better if I don't. I would say my issue with these maps is they feel out of order. Like, I feel like that should probably be the first one, because, like, these are some good, like, basic technique practice maps, but they don't feel like they're in the right order difficulty-wise. Like, I feel like it should almost be reversed, like, because that was listed as number four, right? Yeah, Angles is number four. I guess, like, not fully, but I would definitely say angles should be the first one, followed by, yeah, yeah followed by disjoint. Or, mm, I guess, path can be two, so like, a little more intuitive for early players. It's like, like path or disjoint. I mean, I don't know, I guess, I guess these could be in any, any order, really. <clears throat> Feels like angles is the good introductory level though for this set. So putting it as number four feels wrong to me. But no, it worked. Oh, oh shit. There's actually, wait. Oh, I was like, oh shit, there's another one. And I'm like, no, it's, it's PAC. Goddamn. <laughs> PC5. Hooray. Um, main menu, because I need to 